What's going on guys, Pat in the shop, and tonight we're talking about the Vortec Head stock 194.15 valves versus upgrading to 202.16 valves. Is it worth it? We got the flow numbers, let's check it out. Before we get rolling into the 202.16 valve debate, I just want to just thank you guys uh, for subscribing to my channel. Uh, I just hit 2,500 subscribers today. Uh, really, really happy about that. And it, you know, in lots of your, the guys' comments, I'm getting getting have been very positive. And I just want to just let you guys know that I do appreciate the positive. Uh, comments and I do appreciate you guys subscribing. Um, I'm really enjoy doing this. Uh, this is stuff that I, you know, particularly like doing. So uh, it's really nice seeing that other guys are just as interested in these Vortec heads and head flow and you know boosted small blocks and stuff like that that I am. And I know, I know other guys are, but it's just nice getting the feedback and, and getting you know the response back from you guys from getting uh, the subscribers so what I'm thinking of doing is I think when I hit 4,000 subscribers I'm gonna do a get uh, like a giveaway to, to one of the to one of my subscribers uh, if you're big into vortex make sure you subscribe because it's not something uh, that you're gonna want to miss out if you're if you're thinking about doing vortex heads or stuff so make sure you subscribe because when I hit 4,000 subscribers I'm gonna do a giveaway and it's not it's definitely not something you want to miss out because it's going to be a good one. So make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and uh, hopefully enjoy this video. So the old school thing to do on a set of uh, small block heads, or, or most heads, is to upgrade the valve size. Uh, so the stock valve size on a Vortec head on the intake is 1.94 inches and the exhaust is 1.5. Uh, just like on my last video with the camel hump heads, a real common upgrade was to go to a 202 and a 1.6 exhaust. Uh, this worked really well on the or, uh, sorry on the camel hump heads, but the myth on the internet and a lot of people say uh, it's not worth doing on the Vortec heads. I couldn't find any uh, proof or anyone that did any sort of testing to show me why it's not worth it. Um, I, I had my theories maybe it's not worth it due to valve shrouding and valve shrouding basically means um, when you have a, a big valve in there so you can see this is actually a 194. This is an RHS head that uh, is supposed to have um, a 202 valve in it. But what valve shrouding means is when the valve actually gets so close to the combustion chamber, we'll throw the bigger 202 valve in there because it's cut for that, that this port of, portion of the valve becomes pointless. And you can actually see the difference. So let's see see the, the, the size there, the, the space between the valve in the in the actual combustion chamber versus if you go down to the smaller valve it obviously becomes bigger so I was thinking maybe that's the issue but I wanted to see some real data to show me what difference does it make it does it does it actually is a negative effect is it do nothing so that's why I flow tested a stock 906 with 202 valves versus and sorry, a 202 and a 1.6 exhaust valve versus my stock um, 906 head with no porting, uh, just the regular 1.94 and the 1.5. And that's with uh, no porting at all, uh, no, just basically just cleaned up versus the, the head that I had, the 906, it's had the 202 valves put in in the 1.6. It has also been blended properly, so the seat's actually been, been blended into the throat to have a proper transition, because if you cut a bigger uh, seat into there, the step, because the, the stock Vortex already have a pretty decent step, that step will be even bigger. So the, they were done properly, but that was the only porting that had, was done to them. Uh, there was no, you know, the guide wasn't reduced, the, the inside of the runner wasn't changed, so nothing else was really changed other than the bigger valves and the throw porting. So I threw them on the, the flow bench and uh, I'll show you the results. Alright, so here we have uh, the flow data charted out. Just It's just easier to put it on a chart I find for uh, to show you guys kind of the difference. Um, if you look here, there's actually three sets of data on this. Uh, these low, lower three are the exhaust uh, and these upper three are the intake. Um, you can see down here in the blue is the stock 906 flow numbers 
like I showed you on the last one, that's the same uh, flow numbers uh, as um, the one I compared it to the camel humps. Uh, the exhaust, the stock exhaust is down here in gray. In yellow is the 202 valves and the light blue is the 16 valves. So then I threw in this for comparison as well. Um, this is the a throat ported. So this is just the 906, just with the, the bowl kind of blended into the seat to kind of match what is going on with the 202 valves because they are blended better into the seat than from factory. So I thought for comparison's sake, I'll do that with the intake as well. And then on the exhaust down here is actually uh, like a fully, more of a fully ported exhaust to kind of compare. Uh, just, I did that, I kind of mix match the data here uh, for the intake exhaust, just for comparison's sake. So let's take a look at the intake first. Um, as you can see, basically almost no difference. Uh, so this kind of really shows the myth that you hear about uh, not, it's not worth going to the 202 valve. Because uh, what you'll actually notice here is there is a little bit of gains up here. This is uh, probably about, uh, it's about three, three to five CFM, depending uh, from from the yellow, which is the 202 valve, to the blue here, which is the stock intake. So this is the this is the important range here between uh, two and a half to say four and a half. So you do have a little bit of gains, three three to five CFM. So not a whole lot, um, but you actually lose a little bit down low with the bigger valves. The the Stock non-ported uh, it flows the best down low, which is actually pretty typical because when you start porting and opening throats up, you start losing a little bit of velocity. Uh, and I learned that, and actually you can see that down here, what's going on, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but I, I've learned that is with the Vortex, with guys porting it, I think the biggest issue is over porting uh, to the point where you actually start losing velocity and it starts negatively affecting the head uh, in this range right here, which is the the 2.5 thou to four and a half thou, which is the most important for a street head, because you're not you're not running a cam that's going to have 600 plus lift. It's just not going to happen uh, with it with a street motor most of the time. So uh, as you can see uh, over here, but let's we're gonna we're gonna talk about this even though it's not really relevant. I think because um, past about 450 lift, four and a quarter the 202 valve actually starts flowing less. So I don't know if this has more to do with valve shrouding. Uh, like I said, this is a stock chamber valve. There's no combustion chamber work done uh, on any of these. Uh, so this is just stock to com for comparison. So maybe opening up uh, the combustion chamber with the 202. You can do it a little bit on the Vortex, not a whole lot. And I'll do it with uh, the 194 valves that I have. And I will talk about that in a video coming up. But this is just stock for stock, just to show you. So there's really no benefit, and you actually start losing flow up top, which is, I thought was kind of strange. Uh, this is this is about uh, let's look here about seven CFM difference, but really past 500 is is really irrelevant um, for flow numbers for a street cam. So this is the more important area, but you can see with a throat porting. So take it, you know, pretend like there's no 202 valve. If you just go throat porting to throat porting, which is the yellow and the green, the green being the 194 throat ported versus the 202 throat ported, they're very similar. Like you can actually see they almost line up, you get a little bit of benefit with the 202 valve, but not much. So uh, I have to agree with the myth of my data here shows me, and that's all I'm trying to give you guys is, is the proper data and flow numbers. I'm not making this up. This is actually on a super flow flow bench. Um, so this is all all legit and this is just the real the real deal numbers. So this is true. The myth of putting two or two valves in a vortex head does not do anything uh, in this case is true. So let's take a look at the exhaust. So this is the this is what really surprised me. So bottom here is the stock exhaust. Uh, sorry, no, that's actually the port exhaust. The middle is the stock exhaust. Uh, and the top here is the 1.6 exhaust. So this is where I have never heard and no one's talked about this, but you can actually get really good gains uh, going to um, the 1.6 uh, exhaust versus the 1.5. Uh, right from basically 
the whole range. It is the whole range. So right from 100 lifts, right from zero lift, all the way up to 700 lift, which you'll never see, the 1.6 exhaust outflows both the 1.5 ported, which you can see you actually lose quite a bit down low when you port the exhaust. And that it might be partially overported, so don't you know take that with a grain of salt. But this one here in gray, this is a completely stock um, Vortec uh, exhaust runner and uh, valve size. So this is uh, this is really interesting, I thought, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, share a little secret with you guys. Uh, I haven't released all the flow data on my flow comparison small block head, but I'm gonna tell you right now, my Dart 180s that have a 1.6 exhaust, this flow curve almost matches exactly with the Dart 180s. So if you put a 1.6 exhaust valve without touching anything, just the, the, the valve and a bowl blend, you don't have to touch the rest of the port at all, this is what it'll flow under lift. So it really increases uh, the, the, the Vortec exhaust. And that's kind of what people pick on the Vortex a lot, saying it has poor exhaust. Uh, and you know a lot of people really do some porting they end up with a flow number like this you lose kind of the lower end velocity but you kind of pick up on the top end and I feel like most people are so interested at what everything flows at 500 plus lift but really down here is more important most of the time um, but you can really see on uh, with the 1.6 valve this thing it just rocks the exhaust which honestly uh, most of the time it's not that important to have Super good exhaust flow on a street head, especially if you're lo running long tube headers because you do get this scavenging effect where it will actually, the piston's pushing the exhaust out, but you're actually getting the venturi effect of the exhaust pulling pulling the, the exhaust out as well. So, you know, this is great though. Like if you're going to have to upgrade valves, if you're going to have to go uh, to get new seats ground in anyway uh, in, in your valves, you're replacing them you could just leave your 1.94s, it might be worth it, and just go to the 1.6 exhaust. Like, uh, that might be something I can, I'm can i going to try in the future because this was surprising data for me. Uh, you know, everyone talks about not doing the bigger valves because it's not worth it. So I haven't really played with bigger valves on the Vortex. I've done just about everything else on them, but I haven't really done bigger valves because this is what I've kind of always expected was with the, the intake where it, this is what I'm told, and by, I was told this by professional porters too, but no one really ever mentioned the gains you get on the exhaust. So this was really interesting to see, and I was uh, pretty excited to see that. So I so just wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be talking about in the next video. Um, so here we have uh, the 906 that I keep showing in the blue, and this is typically what you normally see online with the flow data on a Vortec head in yellow. Uh, I've been getting a few comments from a guy say, saying, you know, those Vortec flow data is a little weird. Like Vortec heads drop off, uh, you know, before or past 500 lift and, you know, they fall on their face or whatever, whatever. Um, so I want to just kind of touch base on that. And I'm going to talk about that in the next video. And this is traditionally what you'll see online on flow data for Vortex. And this is what I got. This one actually is not traditional. This is actually a Vortec head I float. So these are both 906 castings, but you can see there's a vast difference between them, especially at the higher lift levels. So this was something interesting I figured out. I don't know if a lot of guys know about this. So my next video, I'm going to be touching base on why there is a wide range of different flow numbers online for Vortec heads. And I have the real flow data that I have that I flowed to kind of see the difference. And these are these are two different heads, the same casting number, and what I found, why they're different. So make sure you check that out. So there you go, guys. Um, the 202.16 versus the 194.15. The 202, in my opinion, not worth it. But the 15, or sorry, the 16 exhaust versus the 15, uh, there was some definite big gains, definitely some big gains with the with the 1.6 exhaust valve. So if you need to go to get new exhaust valves put in or your exhaust valves are shot and you don't want to even ground or you're getting a valve job anyway, maybe it's uh, a good idea just to upgrade to a 1.6 and leave that 194 valve in there and sort of do this combo. 
get the best of both worlds because uh, the 194 we know we can match that with some throat porting and I'm going to show you some combustion chamber porting in the videos coming up. Uh, I know some of you guys are getting really anxious about the Vortec porting videos and it's, it's in the works, don't worry. I just have some stuff finalized uh, before I'm going to put out a Vortec porting video with Flowbench results. Uh, the, the head shootout is just about done too. I got some uh, flow numbers on all those heads I showed in the a couple of videos ago. Uh, a couple of the heads really shocked me, so make sure you look out for that too, guys. Please like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.